How coronavirus can affect your skin. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, you know, thinking about the skin, it's the, the largest tissue that we've got on our body. It, it covers everything, and it, it is systemic. When you see things happening with the inside of your body, it sometimes correlates on the outside. So let's check in with uh, Oma Agbai, Dr. Oma Agbai. She is with uh, UC Davis Dermatology. So you've sent us some pictures, Oma, of different situations, some textbooks, some actual patients who were diagnosed with COVID-19, right? Right, absolutely. So skin findings and COVID-19 are not common. However, some reports are starting to show that COVID patients can have skin rashes in the minority of cases, ranging from one to 20% of COVID patients. Okay, and I think uh, we're looking at some of the pictures now. I think uh, if you can see them, we've seen different uh, pictures, you've got some um, discoloration on the thighs, some blotchiness around the neck, um, some discoloration on the feet. What are those showing? Right, so I'm not seeing the photos right now, but I can kind of go through what, um, what we discussed before. The discoloration on the thighs, it's called levito reticularis. It's caused by a blood vessel. Here. Is that the one that's on now? Yeah. Okay, it's caused by blood vessel malfunction in COVID patients. If you have levito reticularis, it doesn't mean that you have COVID, but it is something that has been shown to be seen as a new finding in patients diagnosed with COVID. Mm. Okay, um, and then looking at some of the other pictures, uh, there, there was one that had some um, larger blotchy spots. Mm -hmm. um, does that, as you mentioned with, with this picture here, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're uh, positive for coronavirus, but it, there is a connection. Right, so again, the blotchy spots called petechiae, they are a sign of bleeding into the skin caused by mm, blood okay. vessel malfunction. It has been associated with COVID. You can have that finding without having COVID, but it can be a new finding seen in those patients. Okay, so if someone sees these, uh, these findings on their skin and maybe they do have a fever, is this cause for them to follow the directive um, before they go to the hospital to make sure that the hospital staff is aware that it's possible that they're positive for coronavirus? Well, you know, that's a tough call because it's such a tricky situation. We don't know a lot about what the skin findings mean for patients mm -hmm. who potentially have COVID, but it's very important to communicate very clearly with your primary care physician. If you have a rash and a fever, definitely let your primary care physician know, raise the question, could it be COVID even though I may not have other symptoms? Definitely communicate, get your referral to dermatology if you have a new rash that is presenting in this time and definitely communicate very clearly about what you've been experiencing. Yes. And always, always remember that dermatology is still here. We're still open. Yes. We're still seeing patients, still doing video visits and seeing urgent cases in the clinic. So um, it's so important to keep that communication open. Do not delay care because we're still here for you. Good to know. And we are linking all of that information contact-wise to our website, gooddaysacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Dr. Agbai, thank you so much for your time today. And we appreciate all that you're doing for us in the community. Thank you so much, Courtney. Take care. All right, guys. Back